Now the first step is to restart Steam. Do not ignore this step. Just go to Steam, click on exit and then relaunch Steam and then check. If that does not work, restart your computer. This has worked for many players so it might work for you. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Next step is to uninstall and reinstall Easy Anti Cheat. Now, for this, make a right click on the game, select Manage, click on Browse Local Files. It will take you to the game installation folder, open the game folder, open Easy Anti Cheat folder. Now, over here, you can see uninstall option, make a right click, click on Run as Administrator, click on Yes to allow. Here you can see uninstall is complete. Even if you receive any kind of error message, just ignore it and press any key now. Now again, uninstall this easy anti cheat. Make a right click, click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow. Even if you receive any kind of error message, just ignore it, press any key. Now install easy anti cheat. Make a right click, click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow. And here you can see installation is complete. Now Press any key to close this. Now you also run this, make a right click, click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow. Once this is done, launch the game once again and then check. If that does not work, use start protected game exe file to launch the game. Now for this, you can again go to the game installation folder and then this time open the game folder and then use this exe file. So just make a double click, launch the game from here and then check if that does not work, make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can use this exe file, make a double click, launch the game from here and then check if that does not work, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK make a double click launch the game if that does not work again go to properties this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working select windows 7 over here this time hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here do the same thing with this exe file and then you can launch the game still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working then in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and do the same thing over here so if that does not work uncheck all the boxes and then follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program add all the exe files now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. And then scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow, click on add and allowed app, click on browse all apps, go to the game installation folder, and then open the game folder. So in my case, this is the location. So open the game folder and then select the game exe file click on open again click on add and load app browse all apps select this exe file click on open again click on add and load app browse all apps and this time open easy anti cheat select this thing open now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall then click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings Click on allow another app, click on browse and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file, click on open, click on add. In my case, I have already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse, select this exe file, click on open, click on add. In my case, I have already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse, open this, select this exe file, click on open, then click on add. So once the game is added over here once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia 
So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now still not working in that case uh, you can use display driver uninstaller that is ddu to clean and then reinstall the latest graphic card driver from nvidia or emd website now you can install this software from google you can search and then you can install it you can after you install it you can launch this application and then you can select your graphic card over here if you have nvidia select nvidia if you have amd select amd and then click on restart clean and restart once that is done now you can go to nvidia or amd website and install the latest graphic card driver and then again restart your computer and then you can check next step is to Run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. And then click on add desktop app. And then again open the game folder. Select the game exe file and then click on add. Once the game is added over here, uh, you can click on the game. Over here you can see GP preference set it to high performance. You will see your graphic card over here and then you can launch the game again click on add desktop app select this and then add the game uh, once the game is added over here you can find the game in the list wherever you find the game do the same thing you have to select high performance for the game not able to see the game So over here you can see the game, uh, you can select again high performance over here and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, the next step is to update the system BIOS. Do not ignore this, this has worked for many players. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. If you have HP computer, go to HP website. So whichever brand you have, go to their system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery in computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to the launch option in the general tab. Type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work. You can tr even try DX12, DX12, dash DX12, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Remove this, follow the next step. Now, the next step is to delete the graphics file. When you delete the graphics file, you will lose all the saved settings. Now, for this, you can open File Explorer on your computer and then go to this PC, open C drive, now open Users folder, open Your Username folder, open App Data folder. If you don't see app data over here at the top click on views select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the roaming folder over here you can see night rain folder open this folder make a right click copy this if you want you can create a backup once you have a backup for this graphics config now you can delete this file and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work this time you can rename or delete the save game files but create a backup first because you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch 
now for this uh, you can go to the same location go back here you can see night rain so create a backup copy this folder and then once you have a backup created now you can just rename it dot old now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to verify the game file this is important so go to steam make a record on the game go to properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version now this has worked for many players so if your current version in 1909 version update it to 24h2 in case of windows 11. if you have 23h2 still you update to update your windows 11 to 24h2 so you can check what kind of system you, uh, version you have so type in w i n v e r winver in windows search box and then click on winver and over here you can see version 24h2 so update your windows to the latest version for this open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website now over here you can see visual studio files so you have to download this x86 and x64 install these two files so click on it and run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install in my case i have already installed so it's telling me to restart my computer just ignore this error message and once installed you have to restart your computer restart is a must so make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart launch the game next step is to unplug all the external devices which are not using so if you if uh, hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected to the computer disconnect it if you have extra controller sometimes we have extra dongle connected disconnect it disconnect multiple monitor disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game go to properties go to general tab turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game if you have any other overlay application running if you have discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running then go to nvidia app settings and then turn off nvidia overlay so or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game do not overclock if you have overclocked your computer set it to default and then you can launch the game you can also close all the overclocking application like if you have ms afterburner reward tuner any kind of overclocking application running close it if you have any third party services running or application running close all the third party services and application in the background and then launch the game also if you have undervolted the computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 
1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM, total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.